Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Magisk, a routing method for Android. This guide will be based on Android 12 for any Pixel phone, although this guide can be used for other phones. The method shown in this video will only work for Pixel phones. Rooting your Android phone can have many advantages like extra customization and other features. I'll show them at the end of the video. The first step will be to open Android Flash tool on the web. This is the official Google tool to flash your Android or Pixel device. Go down to the bottom of the page and click Troubleshooting Tips and then click Install the Windows Driver. From here, click the Install the USB Driver and go ahead and download the zip file. Once you've downloaded, go ahead and unzip the file. In that folder, right click the android underscore winusb.inf and if you're in Windows 11, you're going to have to click show more options and then click the install tab. It should finish after a couple seconds. It's fine if you don't see a confirmation after. Now we can move on to preparing our phone. First, go to the settings panel. Scroll down to about phone and then click the build number multiple times. Once it says you are now a developer, click back and then go to the system tab and then click developer options. From here, make sure OEM unlocking is enabled. Then scroll down and make sure USB debugging is also enabled. Once you're done with that, go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. If you get a pop-up that asks to allow USB debugging, click Always Allow and then click Allow. Now we will be using the Android Flash tool to disable Verity, Verification, and unlock the bootloader. First select your device and then if you're not sure what, what build you're on, you can click Back to Public and this will install the latest build. Then click the little pencil icon. From here you can uncheck the lock bootloader and check the disable verity and disable verification. This will allow us to flash our Magisk boot image later. Then click install build. Then it will give you a prompt to unlock your device. Click start. On the phone, you'll see an option that says volume button and then click the volume button until you see unlock the bootloader. Then click the power button. After a couple seconds, your device should reboot. Then the process will automatically continue on the computer side. After a couple seconds, it should say install complete and your device will automatically reboot. Once it has rebooted, you can go ahead and set up your device as you normally would. Once you've set up your phone, go ahead and open the settings panel. 
Then reopen the developer options menu. If you're not sure if it's enabled, you can go ahead and click the build number multiple times. Then click system, developer options, and now you can see that OVM unlocking is enabled and it'll say bootloader is already unlocked. Then enable USB debugging again. Now we can start the most important part, flashing magisk. We can start by downloading the platform tools like ADB and Fastboot. So go to the website and click download the zip file. Once that's downloaded, unzip the files inside. Once that's done, search Magisk GitHub. From here, you could download the official latest Magisk. Click on releases on the side and then download the APK file. If you don't see your phone as a storage device in Windows Explorer, make sure you click file transfer settings on your Android device. Once it does show up, go ahead and transfer the APK file. Next, we need the system images for our Pixel device. You can do that by searching Google Pixel Factory Images and go to the developer.google.com. I'll have a link for this down below. Then hover over to your device, I have a Pixel 5a, and then download the latest Android 12 release. Click the link button beside it. This will download all the images we need. Once it's complete, extract all the files. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find another zip file. Go ahead and extract that as well. From here, we only need one file. Find the boot.img file and transfer that to your phone as well. Now, we can go to the phone and open the Files app. Go to the Downloads folder and you'll find the Magisk APK and the boot image. First, install the Magisk APK. Once Magisk is installed, go ahead and click Open. From here, click Install Magisk and then select and patch a file. Select the boot.img file and then click let's go. Once it says all done, you'll find a new magisk file in your downloads folder. On the computer side, just click refresh. If you don't see the file, unplug your pixel and then plug it back into your computer and it should show up. Copy that over to your platform tools folder on your computer. Once you have that, right click on an empty space and then click open in Windows Terminal. You can start by typing ADB devices to ensure your device is connected properly. You should see a pop-up like we saw before to allow connections on your Android device. If it still says unauthorized, just rerun the command and it should work. Now we can type adb reboot bootloader so we can go ahead and flash the boot image from there. Once the device has rebooted to the bootloader, we can type fastboot and then flash boot and then drag in the path to our 
magisk boot image. Then hit enter. Once it says finish, we can go and type fast boot, reboot, and you'll be able to reboot successfully. And that's the whole video. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I hope this method works for you. I found this to be the easiest way using the Android Flash tool. Some of the advantages of Root are that you can customize. One of my favorite apps to use is Repainter. This allows in Android 12 to change all the colors in the UI and use a, an AMOLED background, similar to how it was in Android 11. It applies system-wide and it applies within system apps. Here you can see in the control panel and in the settings panel. And it works in many other apps like Gmail, Google Drive, and Messages, and even the phone app. Thanks for watching.